why he did it that way okay the message of karna nog jain universe related karna nog also includes other mathematics in uh, related literature such as structures of the universe geography rivers mountains physical descriptions heaven and hell jain literature indicates that the human personality is such that it possesses limitless desire if i have a million dollar i am looking for 2 millions i get 2 million i am looking for 4 million i got every desire i i wanted to possess power i increase my power okay i am a big person and there is no limit to that one so our desire is limitless his attitude in the life is such that he wants to possess and rule everything and everywhere he has very ego centered personality that is the human personality commonality most of the people possess this kind of the personality to help to overcome such personality jain literature uses the knowledge base of the universe known to the common people at that time and explain that in such a vast universe our existence in a human existence individual human existence is like a drop of a water in the ocean he this vast universe functions on its own the time of your life span is like a fraction of a second in the universe time cycle point of view okay compared to infinite time cycle existed of the universe so limit your desire and remove your ego this is the message bhagwan mahavir taught by explaining the universe by explaining the jain universe but the message was very effective and is a fact effective way you can uh, explain the message through stories okay and this, these are not like stories like a uh, ramayan and mahabharat and other one this is the one say look all the knowledge which existed about the universe he said this is how the things are everybody can relate it everybody can understood it that time if that time mahavira would have said earth is round or no this one and rotating around 1000 nobody would even listen to him because everybody says no that, that is not right earth is flat because i i can look at it outside and look at it this is all flat where is the round one when the white is rotating you know like a 1000 mile an hour that is the speed at the periphery on the earth there is no way my people will believe at that time he doesn't know what is he talking about here so that is not the case whatever he made the statement that was a common knowledge base existed among the common people and everybody can relate to it so that's why i am trying to tell you ke don't criticize jain geography because we don't know in a which sense it was used okay in which sense it was said all right up to 2500 years ago we can talk like that because we have a knowledge we traveled it around it and we can tell that one can okay, know earth is round it is rotating all those things what we know it everything yet it is if you notice it over here that we should not be ashamed of accepting but telling them that is not the intent that is not the point of view mahavir was teaching like geography or anything else he is teaching the spirituality and
And he used that as an example of that knowledge base that existed. So keep that thing in the mind. That's why I'm bringing the Anu Yogs are so important because if you try to use literally every sentence what is in Agam, and there are 45 Agams now, more than 12,000 sutras. In these Agams, you will find significant contradiction also. And then, uh, Svetambar views one way, the Gambar views their way, Sanakwasi views the other way, because anything you want to find, you will find sutras in Agam, you know, saying that, yep, that's what the Bhavira said, look at it here. But they will not you know, bring out the sutra which are opposite to that, and then saying, look, but how about this sutra? Oh, no, no, no. And then they try to talk, no, that is not proper and all, the, all that kind of the argument. Okay, instead of saying, what Mahavira attained Keval Gnan? No, that Keval Gnan is the knowledge of soul, complete knowledge of soul. If whatever Mahavira said about Atma, that is all complete. Okay, you will never find any dispute on that. You will never find any different opinion also on that. That is the definition of Keval Gnan. Keval means totally knowledge of soul. Because we are, the whole Jainism, we wanted to remove our Kashai. That our soul is not pure. Mahavira in the moks, it is a pure soul. We, our goal is to become pure. We are polluted. And our pollutant is nothing but Mithyatva and Kashaya. These are our pollutant. And if we, and only through knowledge, after the knowledge, through meditation, Okay, but you have to have the knowledge first, then do the meditation to realize your own self. These two things has to go together, all right, and you will become Mahavira, you will become Siddha, whatever you become pure soul. These are the you know, very key and important message that was Mahavira delivered. However, when you write the scriptures, as I explained on a you know, couple of lectures before, that you don't write only the you know, dry philosophy. You try to explain this philosophy and you use so many things. That's what Mahavira even preaching wise did it because he preached you know, every two times a day or three times a day, depending upon you know, which sect you are, but two or three times a day for every day. There is no weekends, there is no break, all right? And for 30 years, that much, you know, uh, you know lectures he delivered from one place to another place, walk, travel and everything. And that is the reason and when things got written after so many years whatever people heard they put it in a sutra form of course they were knowledgeable i'm not disputing that but there is significant inconsistency do exist and use your own wisdom interpretation all right and make sure anything that reduces your kasha, it is the right things. Okay, anything does not reduce my kasha, but increase my kasha. Okay, we increase my ego, this thing, that one. Then even though it may be written that way, it's Mahavira's money, but it is not. That's it. That is the key criteria. If you use it, now you will learn it. 
Okay, what let me, I, uh, uh, the reason I spend a little bit more time, because many of you know it, like Pali Thana has a like big uh, place about Jain geography. And, but they try to prove that is the way the real universe is. That is the mistakes they made. I mean, they can show the model, they can show everything, that is no problem. But when you say the physical thing is the correct one, the way the things are written in the scripture, then we are dogmatics. We haven't understood Mahavira's preaching a iota. That is not the Mahavira's preaching. Mahavira's preaching is on the how to make our soul pure, okay? How to get rid of our kashai and mithyatva. That is the key things and how you can do it, okay? And that that is the experience is the one. All right. So let me any question here if you if I wanted to stop a little bit before I proceed further. <clears throat> 